Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord. Uh, today we're going to make another keychain using uh, the DNA weave. Um, there's a couple channels I've seen this on. One is uh, tying it all together with JD. He does one. Um, and also Tim's channel, Weavers of Eternity. So check those guys out. I can put a link down in the description for their channels. So definitely give them a, give them a look. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. I have two colors here. We have neon yellow, and this is called tree frog. Very unique color here. Kind of hard to, kind of hard to see, but there you go. You got a little bit of a look at it there. Um, I have five feet each, so that should be plenty. First thing we're gonna do is it doesn't matter which one but we're going to find the center uh let's do the yellow i guess now that i have a knot here okay so the, to find the center just put your two strands together like so pull everything through there's my center point real easy now we want to measure probably a good six inches this is how long your your uh, keychain is going to be i, I don't want to go quite that long maybe four or five inches something just like that and this is going to be your inner strands that we're going around. So we'll flip that down to the bottom. And you're going to take your right strand and make a loop that goes over top of the center strands just like this. There we go. And that's going to cross over to the left side. Now your left cord, this one up here, you're going to bring that over top of that one go behind the center strands just like that and then this end is going to go up through that loop and we're going to set that down now what we want to do is grab your second color you're going to feed this through these two loops but when you do this you're going to put your keychain on it after you go through the first or your uh, key ring on here after you go through the first one and then feed it through the second loop. And you want to put your two ends together after you do that and pull this through so that the center is right there on the key ring. You should have something that looks like that. And you can go ahead and pull this yellow cord tight. Just like that. And that's where your keys will end up at. Okay, so basically we're going to have a front side and a back side to this. And you're always going to tie the same thing. We're just going to flip it over each time. Um, I think I want to make this just a, just a smidge longer. So I'm going to feed some extra cord back into this. Um, pulling out some of this one. And pulling out some of this one. There we go. So we made that just a little bit longer. Not much. Um, I have five feet. I think I said that already, but I have five feet of each color here. All right. So you're going to have a front side and a back side. Um, we're going to make the front side this greenish color. So we're going to start with that first. The, the piece that you run through the two loops there, that's going to be the color that we start with first. And all we're doing is making a cobra knot or a Solomon. And it's always the same way. So we're going to use the left cord over the center, like this. Create a loop on the left. Take your right cord, cross over, take it behind, and come up through that loop. This is the Solomon. And pull it tight. And cinch it up. Now we're going to flip this over. Flip it completely over. And get these green ones out of the way because these are on the back side now the green is on that side the yellow is on this side and we're going to do the same exact thing going over top of everything here so that it's on this side of it so take your left cord make that loop the left cord's going over the center strand it's always going to be that way no matter which color you're using the left cord always goes first over the center the right cord over that one around the back and up through Pull this tight. Make sure you don't get those other cords in there. 
cinch it up, pull her tight. And these aren't going to be super tight. They'll kind of lock in place once you once you get going. So this is the back side. We're going to flip that over, get those cords out of the way. Make sure you go under the new cords that are coming in. So those are on the back, like that. All right. Same thing here. Left cord over the center strands. The right cord crosses that left cord, goes behind the back of the center strands and up through the loop. Pull it tight and cinch it up and flip it over. And get those out of the way underneath of the yellow ones because the yellow ones are coming in new. Make sure everything is cinched up and repeat it again. And that's all it is to it. You, you do this tie, flip it, do it again, and repeat. A normal Solomon, what you would do is, you know, this top cord here would go back and forth over the center strands. But the way that this gives you like a twisting effect is you do the same tie instead of flipping it back and forth. Alright, so there's that one. Cinch that up, flip it over, bring these down, get these two guys out of the way, do your Solomon, remember start with the left side over the center strand, pull it tight, flip it over, bring these yellows down, I know it kind of looks funny right now. Um, you, you want to kind of tighten this up as you go to make everything look nice and uniform. Left cord loop right over top. Go behind and bring her on through. Okay. There you go. Flip it over. Now you don't have to flip this over every time. I just find it's a lot easier to keep track of what you're doing this way. Left loop right over the left, behind the back, and through that loop. Tighten it up. Flip it over, out of the way. Left loop, right through the loop. Pretty easy. And now you can start to see this design we're doing. So you have one design on the side, on this side, the yellow design on this side, and it'll continue to spiral as you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this pretty close to the very end here, and uh, I'll be back to show you how to finish this up. Okay, so I'm down to the end here, and I just tied my last yellow, and you, you can see I, I almost ran out of yellow. Um, before I go any further, I want to seal these in here so that they don't come unraveled. So make sure you have a good set of nice sharp scissors, and we're just going to cut these ends off, these yellow ends, and seal them in there with a little bit of heat. There's one. Make sure you have a nice torch lighter. This makes quick work of this. And I'm just going to barely melt that and seal it with my smoothing tool so that it doesn't move. Oh, I think it pulled through. Yeah, that's not good. I want to get that fixed before I move on. Yeah, this might not look the greatest right here. Because I kind of messed up. I'm going to have to melt a little bit more than I, th than I really wanted to. I didn't want it to turn this color. But I need it to melt together so that it doesn't pull through. There we go. That won't pull through. And it didn't turn out too bad. It's not too bad at all. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this other yellow one. This one will look a little bit better. That's why I try to cut it just a little bit longer than you need so that it can kind of create a bead and I can press it in there without melting everything around it. Thanks for watching these premieres um, with me. I really appreciate it. I, I enjoyed it last week, so I think I'm going to continue doing it. It's really fun interacting with people on the chat. 
Um, okay, so that one's done now. That's not going to pull through because it's attached. Now this is the last one. And I've already went ahead and attached a fid to this because we're going to run this through the center here. Um, so we're going to flip this over like normal. This is going to go here, and this is going to come over. Now this is the, also the cord with the end on it. So when it comes over, you're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go through the bottom loop here, and then go through the loop on the left. And remember, this one has to go down through this loop. Just like normal, except we're passing... Um, oh, and this has to go... This has to go the other way. Okay, so this goes over and down through. This one has to go under and through. Yeah, under and through. And then we can pull that tight. Make that look good there. Now one trick that I learned from someone that comes into the store is he runs his cord right back through to the other side and finishes it as one piece. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to attach the fit to this end. And you don't have to do this. This is just something that I learned how to just, just do. So what I'm going to do is pass this through here and right up along with the other, the other side. And it might not even look good, but we'll see. Get that twist out of there. There we go. It's pulled tight. Yeah, it actually might look pretty good. This reminds me of the glow worm I had when I was really tiny. All right, I'm gonna cut both of these ends off right at the same spot. And the reason we went through the loop at the end here is so that this braid doesn't fall off the end. It kind of locks it in place so that can't happen. All right, so we're cutting both of these ends off. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like how that looks. So we'll just seal that in there. Doing both of these ends at the same time. Just like that. Nice smooth edge. I think we're out of these right now, but definitely check check back for them because I have more coming. Um, but that's it. That's uh the Rapture, JD from Tying It All Together called it the Rapture. I don't know if he was the original creator of that name. Uh, but there's been other people that have made this as well on their videos. Um, I hope you like it. Turns out pretty good. I think they put their key ring at this end, which I think it just looks better to have it at the other end up here. Um, but yeah, don't forget to check out our website if you need any paracord. Um, and also our Facebook group is, is huge. There's 35,000 members in there, so... It's a great resource if you have any questions about Paracord. Um, it's facebook.com slash groups slash Paracord on. And until next time, Paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time, and there's a few to the right side of the screen. And you can also buy Paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.